Election day so close, it's all hands on deck for people like us who bring you the news. Over the next two nights, 13 Fact Finder Brooke Wagner will explain how election journalists make transparent, trustworthy race calls we can then report to you. Brooke. Yes, we know how important this election is to many of you, and that's why I talked with the journalist 13 News will be working with to bring you reliable results on November 5th about how they call a race for a candidate. It's one of our election system's many quirks. The way the U.S. is set up, there isn't a federal entity or a national body that announces, you know, collects all the votes and announces who wins in the presidency. So for 176 years, the Associated Press has called our political races. So way back in 1848, yes, 1848, the Associated Press, which had only been founded a couple years prior, uh, stepped into this role when it declared Zachary Taylor president. Washington Bureau Chief Anna Johnson says for many reporters, it's now a full-time year-round job. But when the votes roll in, that's when the race really begins for thousands of journalists. We often uh, sort of joke here that election day at the AP, so November 5th of this year, is the single largest act of journalism that exists because so many people, thousands of people are all working at the AP for a common goal. They're deployed around the country, states and counties, working with election officials to cull data. That starts with early voting. They're essentially taking in that information, checking it, double checking it, triple checking it, make sure it's accurate and entering that into our system. Then it goes into analysis and modeling. But how do they decide they're ready to call a race for a candidate? Once there's really no way, no path that the trailing candidate can overtake the leading candidate, we will make the race call. It's the same standard applies for all of our race calls. That means preparing for all scenarios, whether that means making a call late on election night, the next morning, or longer, especially in a battleground state like Arizona. We're also prepared if it does take, you know, an extended, we have an extended vote count in any of those key states because the race is so close. And that's really what it comes down to. If it's that close and we are not certain, we're going to wait until we are certain. Different states do it differently. The timings of that are different. It, it could take you know, it could go on for a couple of days or, or longer. This is how we learn who our next president will be, the next congressional members. There's a lot riding on that call. With such high stakes, emotions run high as numbers come in. So does misinformation. So how do you choose where to place your trust? We hope that people trust our race calls, but I think for us to do that, we have to earn it. And to do that, we want to show our work and really show all the data, all the facts that go behind uh, our, our race calls. The AP also has moved from exit polling to what they call AP vote cast, which incorporates early voting to make more accurate early projections. Thousands of data trackers will flag any information that looks inconsistent or anomalous. Tomorrow night, I'll talk with the executive director of elections for CBS News about making calls from the decision desk. Brooke Wagner, 13 Fact Finders. All right, thank you.